Basketball is like a getaway, getaway place, getaway spot. Uh, it's something that when life hits you at certain points in certain situations, it's something that allows me to go into this place and not think about the struggles, not think about anything. You just kind of focus on uh, focus on basketball and, and being in the moment. Um, so just going, whether it's going to the park or going to the gym, um, something that allows allows me to be myself um, like I said not 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 to think about anything but just being able to be present in the moment is what um, basketball has allowed me to learn one guy that I learned a lot from just watching simply uh, is Kobe Bryant just like many other athletes as well uh, his attention to detail uh, I'm not even talking about games but just practice his preparation, uh, how he works on one move over and over and over again is something that um, I have incorporated into my practice as well and uh, it may seem redundant, you know, just the same thing over and over again, but um, those simple things is what makes a player great, is just working on, on a specific move and just perfecting it. Um, to where you kind of don't even think about it. Your body just naturally does it. Um, the way he sees the game, the way his, like I said, his work ethic uh, is something that is something that I follow and I kind of incorporate into my into my basketball, uh, I guess, into my basketball life and experiences. And yeah, he helped, he has helped me a lot, motivated me. What I've realized uh, throughout my career, uh, especially after a few minor injuries, is how important it is to take care of your body. Um, you know, whether that's going in, in, in the weight room uh, and, and you know doing the doing the different types of weightlifting programs to you know keep that strength that's that's needed on the court, as well as doing the rehab. You know, after after games, after practices, um, it's very very important for players to continue to do that is just as important as you know practicing and putting putting the hours in the gym is just as important doing that in the weight room as well as doing the rehabs because if you don't um, because if you don't then eventually your body's going to catch up to you and it will it will make you pay whether it's through injuries or whatever it is and in order for me to reach my full potential to play at the highest level I know that is, uh, that is something that I really have to take care of and, and pay attention to. There's a lot of coaches that helped me uh, to become the player that I am today. A um, couple in particular that I have in mind is definitely Coach Audemus. Uh He's the one that I started playing basketball for. Um, just worked with me, developed me into the player that I am today, spending numerous, numerous hours in the gym, waking up early in the morning when he didn't have to. He comes here and works out with me. Uh, his confidence just in me um, helped me a lot. And then another coach is uh, Brandon Nickel. Um, he helped me He helped me more in, 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 in the mind of the game. Um, also incredible amount of confidence in me, boosted, boosted that. Um, and help me to become more confident in my abilities. But like I said, the mind, the mind game uh, is what ha he has helped me a lot with, um, and taking that to a whole different level because physically I'm there. Sometimes the mind is a lot of players that I struggle with and he has helped me over the last couple of years develop that to um, where, it, where it needs to be. And um, I'm more than blessed and thankful to have coaches, coaches like that in my corner. As a coach, I could tell like, like a lot of coaches was jealous. I would say even jealous to me. It's a like easy coachable kid. He's always communicates. He's asking good questions. What he does wrong, what, what he needs to improve. And that's that's about on the court. Off the court, he has a really, also great basketball IQ, seeing, taking examples from the better players from all the players and that's easy coachable and then and he listens he i said okay if you if you do not want to try what i'm 
telling you to try. Or like, just try one time and we'll see how it works. And if it doesn't work, that way, so you, you, you say you can change in your, in your, uh, in your way. And I always, it didn't take long to, to talk to him about it. And it just, I told him as a, as a goal, as a task, and he's right away, boom, just do it. I mean, like, wow, he, he impressed me. He, he put me up as, as a coach too. I mean, like we were, we were together making deals, like what to do, what's the better way to do coach and the coach on the floor. That's what, what happened with him. Um, any other qualities? We had like uh, any other qualities we had, uh, like orga organized, uh, let's say practice times, pr practice days, uh, game times, game days, communicate, communicate with the team. I mean, like I said, you as, a, as you as my helper, please talk to these players like this and like that. Stay around. Make you want to be a better player, make other players be better, and that's how we're gonna grow up as a group and, and yourself. You'll see it's a great result. Uh, he was as uh, he's, he's a scorer who also has the ability to play the point guard position. I mean, he can score in a variety of ways with step backs, and get to the rim and finish. Yeah, everything is in his repertoire as far as uh, how he can play. Um, really active defensively, active hands, quick feet, uh, just an all-around fantastic player. Uh, he is the hardest working player that I have ever had the privilege to coach. It's not even close. Um, shared with, uh, with him and with the team the other day that, that I've had very few players that I've ever worked out or been around who work out like professionals. Everything he does, he works out like a professional. He doesn't come in and just shoot around. He, every single workout is full speed, pounding game shots. He works out like a pro. Iwazas is a great person. I, he's somebody that we literally, myself and my assistant, he's one of those guys that were, you know, behind closed doors, we're like, he's our favorite. He's our favorite to coach. He's our favorite to, to work out. He's our favorite to be around. Um, off the court, he's, he's a great teammate. Uh, to be surrounded with other players at our level who aren't trying to be professionals and have his work ethic, he still gives grace and, and loves on his teammates and encourages them um, like nobody else. Uazas was a captain for us this year. Uh, we only had the privilege to coach him for two years and he was already a captain as a, in his second year with us and just a, uh, just a, just a great leader from a standpoint that he exemplifies how hard, how hard he works. He does it with his actions, but then he, he knows when to say things and he knows when to fire up his teammates. He knows when to get on a teammate. He knows when to, in a huddle, in a timeout, to, to bring a ton of energy and, and try to get the rest of the teammate, his re rest of his teammates to be locked in and ready to make a big play, whether it's offense or defense. Um, he's just a yeah, fantastic leader. Yes, I, without any hesitation, the way that he works out, the way that he plays, um, he's, he's a guy that he prepares himself every day to be a professional. He can score it uh, in bunches and has the ability to do that. And he's, and, he's, and he's solid defensively, so he's not a liability on the defensive side. He can play multiple positions. He can play the one or the two. Um, and those are, I feel, his best positions. And I feel like I had the opportunity uh, to play professionally overseas and, and uh, a little bit of semi-professional here in the States. And he is, in my experience, with, with who I played with and who I saw, he has, without a question, he's ready to, to perform and, and make an impact immediately. Yeah, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for, you know, for the school, Trinity Christian College, the coach, for, for recruiting me. Um, I've been to multiple schools, and, and so far I've had the best experience here at Trinity Christian College. Uh, how they welcome me from teachers, professors, coaching staff, other teammates. Um, you know, I was only there for two years, and I, I've mentioned this several times. I felt like I was there for four years. Um, how close I got with everybody, and, and, and you know how much confidence um, they instilled in me, and, and it, it was incredible. Um, the teammates, you know, how close I've grown with them um, is something that I definitely enjoyed, and, and something that's gonna stick with me for um, the rest of my life. Being a part of, of the national team, um, 
that I was invited to at the time uh, was something that gave me a lot of confidence to continue to work and motivate me even though I was cut uh, from the team. Later, I was re-invited again to go to this tournament in China uh, and to play, you know, to play for your country, to play with the best athletes or uh, at that age, at that time in Lithuania was, was an incredible experience. Uh, and it motivated me to continue to work, to work harder uh, and to pursue this dream. Um, another, another situation where I knew that I, I could do this and, and gave me a lot of confidence to, or motivated me to, to continue to, to, to pursue this dream was uh, in Las Vegas this past summer. I got to work out with you know, uh, professional athletes, NBA athletes, big time division one athletes. Um, and this, this is something that created that feeling inside of me that um, just made me even more hungrier, I guess, um, to reach and accomplish this dream. Uh, just seeing those guys, what they were doing, and, and knowing that I can, do, I can do that as well is something that motivated me inside to a whole different level. Um, and for me, this is something that I'm going to continue to do. The Hemily is everything. That's, that's the most important thing in life that a person can have is family. Uh, it's the people around you. It's the people around you that you go life, you do life with. Um, the ups and downs that you go in life, uh, you know, is a person can handle so much, you know, being by himself, but when you have the people around you, um, the lo loving people around you, that's, it's a whole different thing. Uh, so t to me, you know, everything that I, everything that I've done, everything that I will do, um, it's, it's, it's all because, because of the people, the close people that I had around, uh, around me. Um, and that's something that I value value the most in life without family is I feel like you can't to me in my eyes you can't accomplish much because you need that support you need that strength um, and that's something that family provides to a person I think it's funny how a lot of people's decisions are being influenced by others um, you know, you're trying to achieve a goal, and, and you might share it with somebody, and they don't, they don't believe in you, or whatever that, whatever the case may be, and, and you end up um, maybe going a different path. And I've, I've experienced that a few times where I've mentioned, you know, uh, especially towards the end of my college career, that um, you know people ask, well, what's your next step? What are you planning to do next? And uh, I've told them that I'm, I'm going to continue to pursue this dream that I have of playing professional basketball. And they kind of look at you, you know, in, in a weird way, you know, like you didn't go to a Division One school. You weren't, you know, the, the best athlete or whatever. And, and how, how are you going to do that? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm staying true to what I believe and I know what I'm capable of. And I'm going to continue to work for it. And um, sooner or later, I know I'm going to achieve it and I'm going to prove and I'm going to prove them wrong.